Hello, this is Bruce Schaller from Go Engineer. Thanks for watching Go Engineer Quick Tips. This is a quick tip on some new functionality actually that's put into 2014 SolidWorks Plastics. In addition to new functionality that's put into our simulation premium package. So what we can do now is take the residual stress plots from the pack results in our SolidWorks Plastics Premium and we can take that information and map it to our mesh in our simulation package which allows us to look at the in molded in stresses and the displacements or more accurate displacements on the final part dimensions. So this is really what we do when we're in the SolidWorks Plastics program we we need to go in and run a basic analysis with the pack results. So inside of the pack results, you're going to have a residual stress plot. This is the plot that gets transferred to the SOLIDWORKS simulation tool. So in order to do that, once the results are out, all you do is right click and export. And under the export, You'll, you'll check the end mold residual stress and you'll come down and say for SOLIDWORKS simulation. Now the caveat here is you have to use a 3D mesh. It has to be a solid mesh. Um, it can be any of the tetrahedral meshes, hybrid mesh with the shell and tet put together as well. And there, but once you export that POE file, then when you're in the simulation tool, it's going to be a nonlinear study because it's plastics material. And all you really do when you're in a nonlinear study that's different than what's normal is for your loads, you just go and say in mold residual stresses. And this allows you to go in and grab the POE file that was the residual stress plot from the SOLIDWORKS plastics. In addition to that, it allows you to use the material data that comes from the SOLIDWORKS Plastics program. So from here, you can just go ahead and run your analysis, and it'll show you the residual stresses and more accurate part displacement for your final dimensions. We can see, I've exaggerated the animation, but you can see what the uh, amount is over here. And you can see this part, the way it's warping in and shrinking in for the final part dimensions. So that's new functionality that's put into 2014 SOLIDWORKS Plastics Premium in addition to this simulation premium tool for 2014. Thanks for watching.